everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome so today I am going to be doing a full face of affordable makeup I always use affordable makeup anyway but today particularly I have so many products that I am loving at the moment there's a couple of new products that I've not actually tried before that I wanted to incorporate in this video but first of all I just want to say if you do watch a lot of my videos and you're not subscribed please do consider subscribing to my channel because I haven't had a lot of new followers recently and I would love to grow my channel so if you would like to support me please consider subscribing because I would appreciate it so much so let's get on to the makeup so I'm going to start off with the collection gorgeous filter finish and I am very excited to be using the elf one because I actually picked that up like as soon as it went on sale um, and this is like the one that came out before it which is meant to be the Charlotte Tilbury dupe um, I again haven't tried the Charlotte Tilbury um, like filter finish or whatever it's called because it's a bit too expensive for me I believe it's like 50 60 quid and I'm just like nah <laughs> I'm okay I'm, I have no interest in um, kind of purchasing it if it gets to like a discount price which I doubt it will um, then maybe in the future I would consider purchasing it but right now I'm always on the lookout for a good dupe I really like um, this filter finish I don't like the way the noise I know it's just a bit silly but I don't like the noise like the slurging noise that comes out with this product but um, this is like six pounds or six pounds fifty I believe so again very affordable and you do get a lot in here so I have used this quite a few times um, and it is just really nice and going on my skin I just haven't tried it in like a few weeks because I have been trying a lot of other new makeup and I've been doing a lot of decluttering and I definitely kept this because it's kind of like multiple multiple uses and it does give me a really nice glow not that I need it because I am already looking like mega sweaty because it's so warm outside um, but I just felt like this gives a nice layer to my skin and I do look like data from uh, Star Trek which I mention all the time so let's get on with the foundation I'm for the second time using the Essence Hydro Hero so this is in the shade 10 soft nude this is a little bit like deep for me and I don't know how because this is like the second shade um, in this in the nude kind of family um, so I'm trying this again I'm just gonna see how it works I've got a concealer um, that I want to like use again this costs like five pounds six pounds and obviously it's an essence product so you can get it um, in the UK you can get it on Wilkinson's or you can get it on just my look so there's so many different places that you can kind of pick up like essence um, I want to note one thing my eyes are looking a bit red I don't know what's happened I think because of the heat um, my eyes are a little bit sensitive today so I don't know putting on makeup is probably not going to be the best option for me but um, I'm only going to film like one video today so I felt like if I film this one I'm keeping myself busy today um, because I have nothing else to do but so far this is working quite nicely especially with the filter finish and I, as much as like I love buying affordable makeup there's sometimes where I want to treat myself so in the future I will probably do like a higher end purchase video I don't have a lot of high end products anyway because I don't really spend a lot of lot of like on high end products if that makes any sense I tend to buy like a lot of products in this as opposed to like buying just one product if that makes any sense um but because this is um kind of i don't know what the word is it's not like full full coverage this is essentially it's a tinted cream so i am just adding a lot more to my skin than i normally would just because i want to give myself a bit of coverage but i will be adding a concealer in a second so again this tone is still a little bit deeper for me you probably can't tell because of the lighting but when I look um, in my mirror I am looking a little bit orange and I have had this problem with Essence before where a lot of their products do make me look quite orange so that isn't really like a good second opinion like second kind of try if that makes any sense so I'm gonna go in with my concealer I'm gonna go in with my Catrice True Skin 
um, concealer really this is in the shade 002 neutral ivory so I'm just gonna put this like wherever I can to lighten things up a bit because um, it will help <laughs> really and I believe well I got this on like a discount on just my look because they always have some kind of discount um, they basically would have like three for two or they have just the products on a discount so I believe normally this is about maybe six seven pounds if that um, and I got this for like way more affordable and I really want to try the foundation it's definitely on my wish list so I will check next time that just my look have a discount when it comes to Catrice and I will hopefully pick it up but this concealer definitely is there to help lighten everything up especially because I'm trying to not look so orange um, just adding a little bit more the primer is still coming through so again because the um, foundation it's not really a foundation it's just a tinted cream um, is not crazy pigmented you can still see the shine coming through but I don't really mind it that much because I just have a matte powder that I'm going to put on in a second but before I do that I am going to use a new blusher so I am using the Technic liquid blusher so another cream blush for me to try I have had so many recently but I'm not going to complain this is the summer vibes and this is in the shade feeling blushed so I believe in my local Wilkinson's there was only actually no I picked this up at a beauty outlet so I have a beauty outlet near me and I think they had about three or four different shades and this was like 2 99 I cannot complain I really like my beauty outlet it's such a great place to pick up um, like just affordable makeup so let's get this going have to pump it a few times before I can actually get the product out um, but yeah there were a few shades and I felt like this one was probably more better for my skin tone um, I can kind of hear it coming I can't really it takes such a long time for these products to come out I'm just gonna do this off camera and I'll be back and as soon as I uh, turn off the camera it squeezes out so that's what it looks like on here I'm not gonna add any more because I am hoping it's gonna be quite pigmented and I would just look crazy if I do add any more so I'm just gonna kind of looks like a corally type of shade which is fine by me for now so let's put this on my usual cheeky bits <laughs> that makes any sense and just build it up so it's a little bit subtle at the moment but I do hope that I can build this up it's getting there and I mean for $2.99 um, I really like, like testing out Technic products because I wanted to get a full face but I believe that when I was at um, my beauty outlet they didn't have everything and my local Wilkinson's just have a lot of shit products like so many people just open the products and test them so I don't want to buy them because it would just be absolutely disgusting but um, otherwise I would have probably picked up a couple of other things from Technic so I wanted to do like a full face of Technic but I didn't have anything so that's why I decided to um, just make this video instead so I'm gonna stop adding more because I think I've added more than enough um, the lighting has disappeared I apologize it's quite a weird feel of a day today so you can see I've definitely got some glow there so that's pretty good let's go on to setting powder so I'm gonna go in with my trusty MUA Pro Base I believe this is always just like three pounds and this is one of my favorite powders and I've almost hit pan um, this is in the shade 140 so I'm just going to put this everywhere and yeah just make everything a little bit matte so the shininess will kind of dump down just a little bit which is absolutely fine because I would prefer that so let's go on to highlighter and I kind of want to mix two of my highlighters because why the hell not I've got my Catrice which is the more than glow highlighter I absolutely love this highlighter so much but then I also wanted to add my Colourpop highlighter which is the Champagne BB um, this is like very gold for me but I wanted to mix both of them together just to kind of 
see how it goes because I haven't used either in such a long time um, and I just want to just see what it looks like so I'm going to add a little bit of this and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this and we're going to add it just here well and I'm not going to add any more because that is insanely gorgeous just going to add some on the tip of my nose to make my big nose look bigger but that's totally fine yeah oh I love I especially love this Catrice one because it's literally like three pounds fifty and it is so so pigmented if you haven't seen my review on like Catrice it is it's so it's so beautiful and I really really recommend people to try it so and this one is all I mean I, the Colourpop one I think UK price wise it's probably like six seven pounds I know on the Colourpop website they have like a converter now so when you go on their website in the UK you can see how much the product is in pounds which is so clever I love it so <laughs> I know that's I'm like the smallest things entertain me but um, it's definitely very handy for those who want to no basically so for eyes i'm going to go in with my elf i love you a latte palette i love this so much and then for like a shimmer i'm going to add my technic mousse eyeshadow cream so i have tried another shade before i don't know what it's called um but this one is called raspberry ripple so i remember using this like this similar one last time and these are so pigmented it's so shimmery it's actually insane so I'm just gonna like swatch it and show you guys so that's pretty damn good just because this palette doesn't have any shimmers so I wanted to just use a couple of these shades and then use that on top so I'm gonna start off with one of my doll beauty brushes and I'm gonna start off with this third shade or second to last shade whatever you want to call it and I don't have anything on my lid apart from my eyes just being quite sensitive. I did have a bit of eyeshadow on this morning because I had an interview so I wanted to look a bit presentable but the shadow I was using was um, kind of like a pinkier tone so I guess it stained my eyelid just a little bit. So I'm just going to continue going in with this shade. Honestly, I really love these e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. I only kept a few of them during my declutter because um, they were just drying up so I have had them for a while. This one I've only had for like a month or so but I really really love um, this tone and I do love the pigmentation that these palettes have for such an affordable price for literally like four pounds um, you can get a lot so just building this up a bit as you can see it's pretty pigmented um, I'm gonna go in with um, this second shade just here and I'm just gonna add some of that kind of like in the corner and just build it up of course like in the first video that I did of this I used all the shades and I went essentially this way but I thought I don't want to use all of the shades today because I want to make um, the shimmer like the, the standout thing basically so I'm just bringing these in and again I've not done anything too too crazy and now I'm gonna go in with my Technic mousse um, and I'm going to use my elf brush so this is one of their mint brushes it doesn't even say which version which brush this is but it's gonna go in with it swirl it around pick up any there's no fallout in these as well because they're just a shimmer mousse so I'm just gonna tap that this was like 199 so again in the beauty outlet you can get this for very very affordable pricing and I've mentioned the beauty outlet so many times on my channel um, that how affordable and you can find some really good gems there are some older products in there that are very questionable like model zone model zone haven't been a brand for like over two years and that they still have their products there so I find that a little bit a bit odd because those have probably definitely gone out of date <laughs> but I mean I know not to buy them so hopefully you guys won't buy them either because you don't want expired makeup so this is taking its time going on to be honest like it's there but it's not like 
there there if that makes any sense i don't want to add too much because it'll probably just end up like you know getting coming together but that's fine i'm actually going to add some of the um highlighter on my inner corner so i'm going to go in with my catrice and i'm just going to add on a very small brush just here just making the corners of my eyes pop oh yes very nice so i'm actually going to go in with an eyeliner now and i literally used this in my last video when i talked about beauty crop but this is um in the shade courageous copper as soon as i use this i absolutely fell in love with this eyeshadow with um sorry this liner it is so adorable and i am just yeah in love with it and it's so easy to glide on and i am pretty sure that this is less than 10 pounds i'm hoping it is um i have to double check but it's so good and i thought it would work really well with my um with my shimmer so yeah all right brilliant that's it that's looking really really good so i'm going to go in with my lips now and i'm going to do this off camera because it will just save some time this is the second time i'm using this so this is the technic summer vibes lip lip liner and lipstick um i have used this in one of my last videos and i do love it a lot so i'm just going to put this on off camera and i'll be back okay this is my finished look now as much as I love using like this lipstick, it is going to be very transferable. So just a warning if you think about picking it up because it's not going to dry down. But it is still super pigmented and very gorgeous. But again, this is my finished look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favourite affordable products are because there could be a lot of products that I'm going to be missing. But I have so many <laughs> affordable products anyway. I just really wanted to use these products again. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. And I hope you guys are doing very, very well. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.